Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, answering a question from my buddy Will Reynolds. He posted it on Twitter. He was like, hey, Patrick. Hey, Adam. Hey, Guy in the Cube. Something like that. Um, I'm looking for a more stable data source than Google Sheets. I want to put something up in the cloud where my team, we can go and collaborate. We can edit, add things, delete things, stuff like that. And so what's a more stable way? Of course, I said Excel and OneDrive, and I'm about to show you. Let's start the clock. Okay, first thing you wanna do is open up Excel and save your file up to a OneDrive, all right? So once it's saved up to OneDrive, you can go out to the web and you can see the file on OneDrive. And if you want to, right, um, you may be compelled to grab this URL and then go to Power BI, go grab that URL right there and go to Power BI, choose Get Data and select Excel. Don't do it, right? Pause, stop, watch this. What you wanna do is go back to the client to the Excel, Excel, click file, and you'll see right there it says, you know, the name of the file, but right below it, click that right below it, copy that, right? Then go out to the notepad or whatever your favorite text editor is, paste it right there, and at the end you'll see question mark web equals one. Go ahead and delete that, copy this, go back to Power BI Desktop, Choose Get Data, don't choose Excel. I know you may want to. Go and choose Web. Click Web, paste that in, click OK. Power BI is smart enough so that it's gonna say, hey, I know you're going to the web, but this is an Excel file, right? So choose Organizational Account, get signed in. You're probably wondering, why did he choose Web? But watch, watch, right? Power BI is smart, it's so really smart. So it's smart enough, once you get signed in, click connect, and then what Power BI is gonna do, it's gonna use Excel. It's gonna open up the, nav the Excel Navigator. Watch this, it's establishing the connection, and bam, just like that, right? So it's smart enough to recognize that it's an Excel file. Go ahead and choose your sheet, click load. We'll go ahead and click load, loading it up into my model. It's about 60,000 rows, not a bunch of data. Here we go, let's create a quick chart, there's the Data, the fields, Let's, we just want the year, All right? And we're gonna choose sales amount, All right? So now you can see my bar chart. I only have data up to 2014. So what I'm gonna do, let's pretend, let's pretend some someone on my team is working with the file. You can do this in the client or you can go um, to the web browser. I'm gonna go ahead and somebody added some data. I'll click save, even though auto save is on. If I go check out the client, there it goes, look at there in the web browser, it added it. If I go here, back to Power BI, remember I'm only 2014, the data I added, the data, whoever in my organization was, they it was in 2015, if I go ahead and click refresh, it's gonna refresh that data for me. Tick, 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 tick. And now you can see my 2015, just like that. So instead of Google Sheets, you can use OneDrive and Excel, awesome. What, what do you guys think? You got questions, comments? How are you doing it today? Will, I hope this helps you out. You know, whatever you guys got to say, comments, questions, post it in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.